Hey guys, welcome to my Monday night live. So as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. Uh, let me know in the comments where you guys are from. We already have on here Nancy and Stephanie. So Nancy's from Phoenix and Stephanie is from California. So yes, thanks so much for joining me this evening. And I worked all day long on Friday's video and today's video. So I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off, but I got it all done. Hey, Anne. And uh, okay, looks like Nancy and Stephanie both need rain. Right now, it looks like it is going to rain outside um, here in Wisconsin. I'm like, okay. After the live where I was like, oh, it's not going to rain, guys. And then I was in the downpour. I put everything away that was in the driveway. So, hey, Susan, thanks so much for joining. So this evening, I have it right here. Um, I When I was picking, I found this antique. I don't know. Sometimes I think antiques are over a hundred years old. I don't know if this is over a hundred years old. So we'll say vintage, um, plant stand. And I loved it. Um, I ended up getting it for either $4.99 or $5.99. So, um, right around five or six bucks and it has very good bones. So it's sturdy. Uh, a couple things that are wrong with it is, uh, one of the feet are missing. And then when I looked at the bottom, actually two of the feet were missing and they um kind of put a little board on here for the third foot but now the fourth foot is gone so a couple of things we can do we can either a dismantle it and create something totally different um which to me it's pretty sturdy so it kind of makes me sad if we do that or we can leave as is, and my idea would be to redo the top because it has a little bit of water damage, and then fix the bottom and add new feet. So let's chat about that. So let's see here. Um, let's see here. Hey, Star, she's from Michigan. Uh, Tracy says she's from Manitowoc. Awesome. Hey. Hey, Paige. Hey, Susan. Um, hey, Nancy. Uh, okay, so uh, Nancy says she's anxious to see what you do with a plant stand. Yeah, so I was thinking we're going to chat about it a bit, um, but we, let, we can definitely talk about that. And uh, Marion from Kansas. All right. Oop. Woohoo! Catching live again. About to be a gorgeous plant stand. I hope so. Um, Kim says, just stopping by to say hi before going for my after dinner walk. Might listen as I'm walking. All right. Well, thanks for popping in, Kim. Uh, Ruth says, I'm joining from Smoky, Washington State. Oh, fires are awful and so sad. We need rain for sure. So, yes, two of my really good friends um, had to be evacuated from their homes and I, and they live in Washington. So I am hoping I get an update tomorrow from them and find out what's going on. I ended up getting back from up North and read a few of the comments and I was like, Oh gosh, I hope they're, they're doing okay. So, um, it sounds like you're in the midst of that Ruth. Hey, Terry. Uh, hey, Liz from Oklahoma. So Ann says, I say add new feet and redo the piece. I agree, Ann. I agree. And so I think I was sitting in the kitchen. I always sit and just kind of relax before I do my live and kind of brainstorm my project. <laughs> and I'm like, I just think that it's it has pretty good bones. Um, Angela, hello from Japan. That's awesome. I don't know if I've ever had anybody tune in from Japan. So that's very cool. Um, okay, so Terry also likes the idea of keeping it as a plant stand. Hey, Pamela. 
add new feet is what I was thinking, Nancy said. Perfect, guys. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Patricia says, yes, keep it, fix it, and if you can do it, keep it as a plan. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, everybody agrees with me. So let's, it, it is a little, it, I'm not going to sand it or do anything. We're going to paint it. So what we're going to do is we are going to fix this baby up. My vision here is we are going to add new feet. Uh, so that will have to be done after the fact. But even the bottom, I'm going to kind of like show you guys, it's kind of peeling. So I think I'm going to take the feet off and then peel this, all this extra stuff back to make it to the original wood underneath. And then that will be all done. And then I will apply the new feet after that. And it does look like there's already screws in here for the feet. So I'm going to just drill um, just like they did before. Um, but I'm going to use an old spindle is what I'm thinking. So, hey, Miles, thanks for joining me. I miss you and Susan. Um, what kind of new feet do you have? So what I have is I am going to take a spindle and it's a chunkier spindle. And I think I'm just going to chop it up and I'm going to have just like these little round feet. I wish that I had something similar to what was on here. Um, I don't, I'm trying to see here. I have a, I don't think I have my, my, uh, I don't think I have this one, this size um, to unscrew this, but that's my vision. So the top, because I'm gonna show you the top too, it has some water damage here, you guys. And it's kind of lifted a little bit in the center. At first I was like, oh, this is perfect. And then I felt the center. So I think what I'm going to do is the exact same thing that I'm doing underneath, peeling it. I think that's what I'm going to do up here as well. And we are going to add, I think we're going to do decoupage paper on the top. Does it even need feet? It and I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I don't actually think it actually even needs feet. Um, I could, it could just be flat. Absolutely, I could just take it all off. Perfect. Um, Joan says, hi, Sarah, I'm watching from Kenosha. Hello, Joan. Oh, Susan, yeah, she says, we miss you too. I know, your camera isn't Point, paint it, point it down far enough. I know because I am going to put the other camera on. Do you guys, maybe do you want me to have it like this? Tell me. Because um, I can, I know you guys can see a portion of it, it looks like. I can point this down a hair and then you can see it and then I won't even use my. Otherwise, I'm going to show you guys what it would look like. The other camera would be like that. So you tell me what you guys think. Um, hey, Erica. She says, hi, Sana. I watched your thrift haul today, and I swear you are, or we are thrift haul sisters. I always grab those old Crocs and wooden boxes whenever I see them. Love that Merry Christmas hanger. I know. Thanks. Needs feet so owner can clean their floor. Um, so it's. It's good right there. Okay. I'll just move it back here. All right. I missed the beginning. Where did you get this? Or I can watch the replay. Um, I was thrifting and I ended up picking this and the guy gave it to me either for $4.99 or $5.99. So there were two items and uh, I can't remember which one he gave it to me. So it was like five or six bucks. And um, it's missing a couple feet. So uh, Ruth wants to know if I'm on YouTube with the live. Yes, I am. I'm on both. So I'm on YouTube and Facebook and it looks like both of them are checked and I'm getting messages from both. So yes, that's where I'm at right now. All right. So um, let's talk about the base here and um here, I'll stand it up so you guys can see. This is such a beautiful 
um, just a, a beautiful spindle, we'll call it. And let's chat about what you got, what color are you, are you, do you think we should go with? I can't even talk tonight. <laughs> I'm so tired. I am literally so tired. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, Vicky says the black box is a sewing box and I'm in love with it. I have a few, but not like that as we are sewers. Oh, I thought it was, um, I thought it was where you would put like different little trinkets. So Kathy says, wow, good piece. Love it. Yes. So this is really, really sturdy, except it has only three feet and two of the feet are the originals and one is um they cut and they tried to make it very similar um all right so ruth says cool i can watch you on my tv yes i can be on the big screen um yes okay so susan says this is a beautiful spindle i know i mean like i saw this you guys have to tell you so i'm pushing my cart and this guy grabs this and i'm like gosh, I miss, how did I miss that? And he's like looking it over and he sets it down and he goes like this because it's missing a foot <laughs> and it's all wobbly. And he's like analyzing it and he's looking and then he just tosses it back. And I'm like, I, I, I'm watching out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, don't have to interest it because he'll put it in his cart. But he, he put it back and I grabbed it. I scooped it up right away. I'm like, oh, this is such a good find. So let's see here. All right, so let's talk about paint color for the base. All right, we have one Hey Sailor. Um, oh, Sandy says, what a lovely, chunky piece. I agree. Uh, Angela says, yes, it depends on which paper. Oh, oh my God. Quiet. Oh, Lord. Okay, am I back? <sighs> My brother called me. Oh my Lord. Okay. I declined it as soon as I saw his name come up. I'm sorry. All of a sudden my screen went black and I am so sorry, you guys. I hopefully think I'm back. All right. Um, all right. Yes, it does. You're back. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks, Miles. Um, Yes. So, okay. So that is the question. What I'm trying to think what I want to do for the top as well. There's so many beautiful papers and I was trying to think of one that I could use for the top. <laughs> and says, tell here, I'm going to tell them to stop bothering the bloomers. <laughs> love it. I'm going to tell them that when uh, I'm going to say you interrupted my live. Uh, oh, Tracy says her new favorite color is skeleton key mixed with bohemian blue. I have not tried that before. Is it a 50 50 mixture? Hey, um, how are you doing today? Arrows DIY? Oh, Tracy. Okay. So Stephanie says that sounds nice. Um, that's okay. If you're a little late. All right, let's see. Well, we could try it. I have to see. I'm going to have to grab the colors. Um, I'm not really sure what it looks like, but I'm game. So let me grab those two colors. So you said Bohemian blue. Oh boy. Do I have, I hope I have Bohemian blue here. I do. Okay. So Bohemian blue and skeleton key said. Okay. All right. I'm back. I'm back. You guys, I grabbed those colors. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to mix them in. Do I have any empties? I always have empties. <laughs> Let me go back over here and see if I have an empty one. Bear with me for one moment, guys. All right. I have, I 
swear I had a, a skeleton key. I was, this is what happens when I organize. You guys, I put my stuff away and then, and then I can't find it. All right. Okay. No more. Okay. Let's see more like 75 skeleton key and 25 bohemian. Okay. Here is a skeleton key that I already have open. All right. Let's get my little stir stick out. And we'll do I wonder if I have a bohemian blue here. Oh my gosh. When I can slow down enough, I am going to totally organize and clean everything. Okay. All right. So, all right. So what are we trying? Um, tonight we are, tr we are trying to upcycle this plant stand and, uh, we are picking out a paint color and so far we have decided we're going to try to mix a new color. Um, it's 75% skeleton key and 25% bohemian blue. So I'm totally out for that. 70. Okay. Yep. Hey, adorable repur repurposals. <laughs> I can't even talk tonight. Um, she said, hi gang, finally made a live. Awesome. Um, Susan says when I organize, I can never find anything. Yes. I had to clean this table off. And I always have stuff sitting about, but I know, always know where everything is. But then when I clean, then that's when I can't find it. So, all right. Let's see. This is about, let's see, half. All right, I'm just going to drop some in. <clears throat> okay, I'm winging it. You're going to have to tell me if, what you think. All right. That will be fun. Heading out for the hubby's birthday dinner, so I have to leave, but I'll watch the replay. Get some rest tonight, lady. I plan on it. I definitely need some rest. Interesting. Let's see the mysterious color. Okay. I call my craft room organized chaos. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Right now, like I have to, I do have to really, Ooh, guys, this is the color. Is it too bright or can you guys see? There might be a glare. I actually really like it. So Tracy, is that about the color? It's like that. All right, so everybody's liking it. Let's see, I keep adding blue until it's what I want. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna add a tad more blue. Just a tad. Oh my word, I better get that other blue out of that blue. See, this is what happens when I start becoming a mixologist. <clears throat> okay. All right. Usually darker, okay. I... Yeah, it is a really pretty, okay. Okay, so this is the color. Can you kind of see it now? I just don't, I don't want, I think when I get close, it adds like a glare. Okay, so maybe, oh, did I spill it? Or right here. Yeah, I think a little darker too, guys. Hold on, I'm going to grab a baby wipe. I'm making a mess already. All right. 
better get these nice and shut tight so they don't dry out. Okay. Yes, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more blue. Just a tad. Okay. Anne says, every time you say that, I want to drink when I say I'm a mixologist. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, Lynn says she's late. What is the goal with this color? So we are redoing this plant stand. Tracy said her new favorite color is she is using 75% skeleton key and roughly 25% um, bohemian blue. So we are now making a custom color and we are going to start painting the base. Okay. Actually, really, I think I like that color. What do you guys think? I think I like it a lot. Okay, so before I start, I want everybody to tell me what you think. I'm going to grab my paintbrush. All right. Love it. Okay. Is the stand dark stain or black? It's dark stain. It's dark stain. Nice. Okay. Everybody like okay. I like this new color. Okay, everybody is liking the color, so we're rolling with it. Let me set those there. I'm going to close the real bohemian blue. Oh my god, you guys, I just... Okay. All right, we're going to start. We're just going to start. Ooh. So did you just experiment, Tracy, and you discovered this color, or did somebody tell you about the color? Because I'm really liking this color, too. And then we're going to decide, after we paint it, what... Um, what paper we're going to use on the top. So, but I want to bring some different pieces of furniture to Cranberry Fest. So I thought this would be something good to bring. It's not huge. It will add um, some height to an area. All right, let's see here. Are you going to put darker wax over it? We can definitely talk about it. What do you guys think? Should Well, I'm definitely going to distress it. And do you think that we should put dark wax? Let's everybody chat about that. Looks like teal, my favorite color. I like it too. Sharon says, I like it. Call it Bohemian Skeleton. <laughs> Perfect. I like it. I like it. I think it's a very pretty color. I wanted a steel gray something. I just decided to try the other day. Awesome. I like it. It's the way to discover new colors, right? Just to play around. All right, so everybody agrees dark, or people are agreeing dark wax. Depends on the paper whether you wax or use wax, and, or which wax. Yes, I like dark wax with the bright color, but let's see once it's all painted. Yes. We will just, okay, you guys can see me. I'm like, can you see me? Yes, you can. I didn't even need to set up my other camera. Let's see. Lisa says, hi, all. It's a cloudy day here, and we are getting some of the tropical rain from Hillary here in Idaho. Oh. I have to tell you guys, 
I saw somebody say something. It was on Facebook about not liking Hillary. And I thought they were talking about um, Hillary Clinton. And I was like, what? What, what did she do? <sighs> nope. It's the storm. It's like, I haven't heard her name in a while. <clears throat> Carpenter's wife creates is a little late to the party. Eunice from Tampa here. I love anything Sonic comes up with. I vote for dark wax. Awesome. All right. Yeah, we'll just see. But yeah, I'm thinking it will look really good. So I think it will. Um, Pamela says she likes the color. Stephanie says... I'm going to try dark wax. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to try darker, dark wax. All right. Susan says she loves the color. Miles is laughing at me. I'm assuming about my fun comment. <laughs> oh, it was funny because then all of a sudden I saw on the news that that's what the name of the storm was. Okay, so I have to tell you guys, <clears throat> I have some exciting news. Um, so I don't know anybody over uh, near California, over in that area, that's uh, near Debbie, Debbie Beard's shop. Uh, so she is, um, she designed a paint inlay for the IOD sisters. And she is doing her big reveal party in um, September. And I decided to attend. So I, I went and I bought my ticket last night. So it is also open to the public. Or there's so many tickets. And you guys can buy them too. So it's kind of fun. You'll have to go check it out. Um, but yeah, so I thought that would be kind of a fun thing. I've always wanted to see her shop. Guys, it's so beautiful. She's so creative. And I'm assuming her inlay is just as awesome. Vicki says, man, I want to go to that. I know. We're in California. Okay, I'm going to totally butcher this. <laughs> But I fly into San Diego and it's Solano Beach. Is that, does that sound right? Solano Beach. I think that's what it's called. So somebody tell me if I'm butchering it. <clears throat> but yes, it's on Saturday. Um, and you'll also be able to meet the IOD sisters. They will be there as well. So that's kind of, that's a very fun because it's the paint inlay for, for them that she designed it. Okay, so did I miss anything on up to this point? I think I got everything. I'm really digging this color, you guys. I like it. I like it. So let's see here. I'm seeing it. Yes. Um, adorable repurposals said, Tracy, I'm loving this color. Great job. I know. Thank you for telling me about it. I love it too. That looks good. Vicky says the color is amazing. Thank you. Oh yeah, love that turquoise. I know. I think it turned out. I think it really turned out great. Okay, let's see here. What am I? Like, what am I missing here? Oh, Tracy says, 
I love the apothecary, but wanted to go more blue than green. Thanks all. Yes, thank you. I love getting suggestions suggestions from you guys. All your tips. So now I have to start thinking about um, what paper I want to put on top. What direction do I want to go with this? I'm trying to think. All right, am I missing anything? Tracy said, Robin's egg is exactly what I was going for. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yes. Or you get so many that lean towards green so blue is nice yes absolutely um would the rooster green sack paper match um i'm gonna have to look to see oh you guys that's oh it's right here it's right here <laughs> this this is i think it's i think it's a different blue though but it wouldn't be horrible. But if I would just do like the wording on top. And I have like bright lights too in my face, so I can't tell right now exactly how close that is but I'm liking I'm kind of I wish I don't know we'll have to see okay perfect the whole bottom is almost done making really good time Uh, let's see here. Hello, I wanted to send just Robin Egg, but wouldn't remember the name. Can you put uh, an express so lightly on the details? Yeah, we're gonna, um, I think what we're gonna do is once it's dry, I think what I'm gonna do then is, I think the, the dark wax is gonna be perfect. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, where did my, my baggie. I always have a baggie, you guys. All right. Okay, what do you think? I like it a lot, you guys. I think it looks awesome. What a great suggestion. Okay, so we have the base basically done. I just want to make sure. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. And then I do want to take the feet off in the bottom. I'm going to have to finish the bottom too, but oh shoot, now I hit something. All right. Um, all the comments look like they're coming from YouTube. Awesome, you guys. Okay, perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know that. Um, okay, so <laughs> the um, I'm not fallen. My name is Jackie. My son hid my name. That's okay. He's trying to protect you, right? But I, people come up with all different usernames, so I never know. I just, whatever your username is, that's kind of how I go with it. So now I'm going to have to try to remember Jackie. Jackie. Fall one is Jackie. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, yeah, so I was thinking the dark wax would look really good. Um, 
a little bit too much halo. Is it, oh, are you saying it's too bright? You can't tell? Um, oh, yes. Vicki says, do you have a peacock paper? I do. I'm trying to see here. I'm looking. I'm pretty sure I do have a peacock. That would look so good with it. When, okay, let's see here. I totally forgot. So I think, should I grab one? It's around, I'm going to have to walk around the table because that's where my papers are over there. So I'll grab it. Let me look to see. I'll, I just have to see here. I'll go grab it. I do have one. Pretty sure. Let's see here. Here it is, guys. Oh my, it would look so good with it. Oh, <laughs> no, no, the name, LOL. He named me after a guy in his game, Halo. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, all right, let's look here. We're going to check to see how the blues will match. Let's see here. Let's move this baby over a hair. Now I have a hair here. I just saw it. Okay. I just don't know what to... Okay. So the peacock part is really blue. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm putting this one up. This is awesome to you, you guys. The bloomers are rocking today, Sonnet. Yes, they are. I love you guys. Oh. Um, yes, this is Roy Cycles um, paper, and it is um, the Peacock. So this is only half of it. I'll show you the full paper. And it is on my website, too. So it's the full peacock. I wonder if I should just do just the peacock part on the top. That would look cool. I mean, this blue is a little different, but if I get these blues in there, I think that will be perfect. All right. And once I do the dark wax, too, I think it'll look good. Blue on blue. Yeah. Oh my God. Love that paper. Okay. Let's see here. I think it will look awesome. It's beautiful. Um, will Peacock and Paris fit? Oh, it's, let's see. Um, I don't, well, it's still a little wet, but I don't think it will. Oh. It would be kind of fun to have the Paris. I think it's going to be, it's hard to say. I would just use the feathers. That blue on the bird is too off. And I agree. I think that the blue on the bird is too off, but the feathers would be very pretty. I just don't know how much of it I will get. Yes. Even if I did like up here. Or if I even did. We'll see. It. I wish that it was a little. It is very, very pretty. I'll think about it. Oh, my. Oh my, wow, we really have opinions on this one. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Uh, I'm trying to think. I was trying to, 
that's why like i wish that this i really like how this is would be a perfect circle but i think i'm wondering what this blue will look like after i distress it and then do the dark wax on it if it would be dark enough that it wouldn't look odd if you know what i mean Uh, let's see here. Okay, so do the body of the peacocks on top and then have the rest of the feathers cascade down the pedestal. That would, that, I would have to, that might be hard. And then just wait. Oh, Susan's story late again, LOL. That's okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna see what it all looks like after I'm done distressing it. Um, but this was a really, another really great idea and had me totally thinking, because I think it really does like look good. It's very bright in here, so it's hard to see. But I also, because this is more navy. I'm trying to think what other papers would be a good top. I wish that there was another one. I think I have a stencil though that has something similar to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, where is this going? Um, this is going to be at Cranberry Fest. That's where this is going. It's going to Cranberry Fest. So we are doing projects every day, all day. Well, all day. I have been doing nonstop projects for Cranberry Fest. Oh, so we your first. Yeah, I think I'm gonna um, I'm going to distress it, do the dark wax. And then I am going to decide on the top because I still have to take the top off too. But let's see if we can um, get this dried enough that we can do some wet distressing on here. Okay, I can't see the top. Well, it's, let's see here. I will, I will dry this a little bit more and then I'm going to show you guys the top. I'm afraid I'm going to tip something over here. I like putting the sacks with the dark wax to darken the blue. I think I like that too. Can you use the number recycled paper with different blues? The number. Oh, well, it's another good one. Let me grab that paper. It's the numered. How about there's one called the numeral numer collage. So let me grab that one. So nice having these right at my fingertips, guys. Oh, I think that one's gonna have too much blues in it. Yeah, that one's not going to work. But I'll bring it and I'll show it to you anyways. Um, yeah, that's this one. I was thinking because it had some blues in it. But I don't think it's going to work. So there's that one too. All right. Okay. Um, I will show. Let me dry this and then I'll show everybody the top again. I just want it to be dry enough where I don't do something. Like ruin my beautiful paint job. All right. I think that should. Okay. I think I, yes. So here's the top guys. It's around. So here's the whole piece. And a lot of this is still wet. I just dried the center. So I'm, I'm really liking it. The top is a little bit funky. 
and so is the bottom. Let's see here. Um, hey, Corey, just got Facebook to load. LOL, bad connection. Definitely want to see the start of this. Yes, definitely, because we um, created a custom color. Lots of good stuff. Oh, Susan says, I have no idea what you're doing. Can't see it. And I was late. Okay. So what we're doing is I thrifted this really cool plant stand and it had really good bones. And so we painted it a custom color and we painted it with 75% skeleton key, 25% bohemian blue. We created a custom color. We painted the base. What we we're talking about is we want on the top, I want to put some decoupage paper. So we're trying to figure out what to put on the top. And I we're trying to get this dry so we can wet distress this. And then hopefully um, add some dark wax. So Okay, so DIY paint, um, when it dries, it dries really light, but you have to seal it because it's activated with water. So yes, it does dry much lighter, but then once you seal it, it goes back to the dark color. Uh, let's see here. Then it will take you a week to find things I organize and couldn't find the stuff I needed today. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes. All right. Yep, so that's what happens with DIY paint. It always just dries a little bit lighter. And then once you seal it, it goes back to like the normal color that it was. And... So I just don't want to burn anything. All right. Oh, Tracy says, I like rust anything with this color. Then I'm trying to think. I was also thinking like the underwood crates. That's kind of got like a little bit of a rusty feel to it um or wood crate trolley is another one yep yep 70 <laughs> you're right it will be darker once it's sealed um yeah so i i want to distress it um so i'm wondering if i want to wet distress it or if i want to take my sander and kind of really bring it down to some of the bare wood. Are you going to paint the top white first before you decoupage it? Yes, I will. So what I'm going to do, and I'm not doing it in here because it will create a huge mess, is I'm going to show you guys the top again. Okay, so here's the top. It's perfect over here, but like right here, it's got like in the center, they must have had a plant and then the water like raised that. So I'm gonna take the whole top off, paint it white, and then put paper on it. It's my way of like starting over fresh. Uh, let's see, oh, that's another good one, the maps. Let me see. So Angela said, what about the sheep or one of the maps? I don't, I was like, do I have the sheep here? I had them here for a little bit. Um, or the map, the map would be good too. All right. If you can't decide on decoupage paper, maybe a larger stamped image would work. That would work too. I'm trying to think of what I, I'm just trying to like in my mind brainstorm. Um, so why don't we do this? Because now it's 6.49 as we're brainstorming. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to do. Tomorrow, or because it's too dark, I, it's too dark already um, tonight. Uh, oh, paint inlays. Stephanie said paint inlays. Oh, 
that might work too on the top. Um, that's a really good suggestion too. Um, have any birds foliage? I would make moldings for it and really pop that piece. Do you have all, yes, I have every single one of the Roy Cycle papers, except the ones right now that are on back order, but I should be getting them soon. So, but yes, I do have all the papers. So I have, um, um, over, I'm looking too, I'm like, what could I use? I was thinking there is a flower sack one too. Oh, hey Gladys, that's okay. It's a very traditional style, so maybe not rustic paper. Too bad the peacock didn't work. It matched on my screen something classic. The folk stamp. Oh, yeah, maybe the folk stamp. Since plant stamps are found in libraries, how about the typesetting letters paper? Typesetting letters paper. Oh, okay. Well, I have one that... Oh gosh, I don't, it's, okay, like the, on uh, the one that I used on the suitcase, maybe that one is the one, put birds around the long piece and a stick with the birds across the top, Joan, that is a great idea, flower sack, okay, so, all right, what I, we're gonna regroup, we're gonna, I'm gonna sleep on it, <laughs> I will have, on Wednesday, lots of papers, and then we can choose, and it will be a little bit better lighting because it will be at 10 o'clock versus 6, um, and I will have that one. I will have all the papers, and then what I will also have done is I will have this all prepped and primed on top, and I'll have the bottom ready, and we can pick out the papers, and we can finish the top, and this will be another project than complete. What about the chintz paint inlay? <laughs> okay, I will have it ready so we can add an inlay as well if we if we decide and I will have a couple of those. Maybe the Pennsylvania Dutch, Dutch IOD stamp set on the top. Okay. I'm just trying to think how how I how that would how I would lay it out. Maybe, um, too soon. <laughs> so many choices. <laughs> but you guys are so good. You know all the products. I love it. <laughs> um, I am just trying to think. Yes, there are a lot of choices. And I'm trying to figure out, uh, you know, what I, um, how, what direction I want to take this. So, um, Yes, all cool ideas. I agree. You guys have a lot of great ideas. Okay, so yes, that's what I'm going to do. So tomorrow what I'm going to do is take this outside. And I think I'm going to use, instead of, I was going to actually distress it with um, wet distressing it. But I think I want to bring some of the other wood. Um, and because I'm going to dark wax it. So I'm going to distress it. And I'm going to wax it and have it ready for Wednesday at 10. And then the top will be prepped as well. And then I'll have the papers, paint inlays, and we can chat about all the things. Those color, colorful rounds you made with all the triangles and color with color, make that the top. Oh, that would, yes. We would not be able to do that on a live. <laughs> that takes a long time. <laughs> but yeah, that would be kind of a fun idea. I'd have to sell this for a lot of money for, um, but yes, that's another good idea. I like that. It's the barn quilt. It's the, um, pinwheel barn quilt. Okay. We are your bloomers after all. Of course we know all the things. <laughs> Guys. Oh, I love it. I have to cut wood now to get a few crow crows done. All right. Well, thanks Vicki for joining. Um, Yes, so that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna take it outside and I will distress the heck out of it. We'll, I'll um, seal it with the wax, the dark wax, and it will be ready to go for Wednesday at 10 o'clock for the live. 
Um, do you have any, do you have a paper that looks like mosaic work? I don't, there's, I don't think there is a paper that looks like mosaic. Um, let's see here. Tony said the paper you just did the purse with. Oh, I have some of that. Hold on. Guys, I, I swear, cause I was going to organize all my papers. Here it is. Okay. That would look really cool, actually, for the top. That would be really neat. I would have to get some of, like, the round would have to be like that. What do you guys think? That's a cool idea, too. And this would be kind of like a mosaic, in a way. And this is exactly why it is so hard to price our creations. Some people don't realize the amount of time and effort it takes to come up with the beautiful pieces we create. Absolutely. I agree 100% with that statement. Uh, yes, that is so true. Thanks so much for distressing yourself with us live. Thumbs up for son. Oh. Okay, everybody's really liking the purse paper. I love it. Okay, so um, Joan says she thinks white wax then with this versus the dark wax. What do you guys think? Because of the white in the centers? Do you think we should do white wax versus dark? You guys decide. So, Okay. I'm so glad I, this is the new paper. So I forgot, even though I just used it. <laughs> yes, white, white wax for sure. Okay, perfect. And that's what we'll do. Do I have white wax here too? If it's clear, I'll have to find the white wax. Okay, so what I will do is I will have it all set to go for this paper. On Wednesday, we're gonna I'll have it ready. Um, we will white wax it together. And I wouldn't distress it, just dark wax. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right, we got it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna I am loving this paper. You guys, there's so many possibilities. So this is gonna look awesome on top. Um Someone is going to buy a table to go with their purse at Cranberry Fest. <laughs> I agree. I don't know. I'm like, where did I put my purse? I can't even think right now. Oh, it's out in, I'm like, where did I put my purse? My purse. Um, it's actually out in um, my studio because I took photos of it. Yes. Um, but that's really funny. Someone is going to buy this table to go with their purse. So, um, yes, yes. So we will, um, make all those decisions, but I will have it ready and I will have white wax and dark wax next to each other. And what I'll do is I actually will paint a little bit of a, like a swatch of something with this and I will have it sealed so that we'll put a little white wax on it and a little dark wax and compare the two. Um, so yes. And then you guys can decide that and I will have it all prepped. So I know that is display the purse on top of the table. It will look so good. Good night. Oh, night arrows DIY. Thanks again for joining. All right, you guys. So if you haven't done it yet, head on over um, or head to my YouTube channel and watch my thrift haul from today. Uh, Friday, you guys are going to get all things fall. So that will be a ton of fun. And then I will be back on Wednesday to finish this piece with you guys. I appreciate all of your help and ideas. You guys are great. And you guys have a great evening and we'll see you then Wednesday. Bye. Well, now I got to make sure my mouse works because remember you guys, it falls asleep. All right. Night guys.